everyone, uh, welcome to my in-depth review of Deadpool and Wolverine. So, um, <laughs> I really love this movie, Deadpool and Wolverine. It was really good. Um, I remember I did a review earlier today, but I realized that I did not talk about the um, any of the. It was too light, you know. It wasn't in depth enough. So what happens? So we all know from the earlier review what happened. Just to recap, um, basically Logan and <laughs> well, Deadpool uses his corpse to kill some bad guys, but turns out, um. That's not the case. What's happening is that, turns out, um, Logan is an anchor being, right? Since he's an anchor being, he's basically the messiah of the universe. And Deadpool did that because um, his universe is about to be destroyed. At least that's what I, how, how my mind works with this thing. Or how I understood it. Is that since he's like the messiah, messianic figure, um, basically... His universe is about to get destroyed, and Deadpool has to find a way to fix that. So, at first, they recruited Deadpool for an unknown higher purpose. So, Deadpool believes he's some sort of messi messianic figure, which isn't a thing yet, or at least yet. Because, um, as we all know, they have to leave some other stuff for the next few movies. So, Deadpool sees a bunch of other stuff, like... um. So, what happens? Alright, he kills. <laughs> um, he doesn't kill anyone so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. He punches Para Paradox basically says, um, either you become an Avenger, or basically, or you become like, uh, or you save your, or you die with your universe, you know, basically. Deadpool decides to do the third option, which is save the fuck out of every X-Men. So that's awesome. Deadpool basically, um, what do you call this? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. He basically steals one of the portal thingies and then basically goes around the multiverse, makes fun of a lot of like Marvel re references, Disney references. Meets with Wolverine. He meets Wolverine, and um, basically this Wolverine is an unheroic Wolverine. He got his universe killed. He, um, it's hinted that he probably killed the X Men, but I'm not sure. I, I didn't understand that part. I need to rewatch the movie. I'll I'll maybe I'll post a reaction if you want. Maybe I, I'll, I'll better understand the movie. I could theorize or whatever. But um, after that, sorry about that. Um, Logan and Deadpool, they return to the TVA, and Deadpool's like. Um, Deadpool's like, well, I have an anchor now. Here's the anchor. He's a fucking anchor. I'm gonna swear in this video, this is a Deadpool Wolverine video. And I am going to save the multiverse. And, well, they didn't like that. <laughs> oh, there was this whole gag where, um, Deadpool thought he was the messiah, uh, or the anchor being. Turns out the anchor being was Logan. And since the anchor being died... The universe will slowly decay. That's why he's saving his universe. But Paradox responds with, You think you're gonna re replace a fucking anchor being with this piece of shit, basically? Um, this Wolverine is basically the worst Wolverine. So Deadpool and Wolverine end up getting pruned into the void. And they eventually meet Cassandra Nova. They meet Cassandra Nova in the void. Uh, L Logan kill. There's a lot of deaths in this movie, but it doesn't matter. It's a multiverse story. Um, Sabretooth gets gets his head chopped off in the in the fucking epic uh, slash off, um, and then they get captured by Cassandra Nova. Um, Cassandra Nova basically is the twin sister of Charles Xavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you read the comics, you would know that. But if you haven't, well, spoiler alert, that's, she's the twin sister of Charles. And she's way more powerful, she doesn't age, and she has telekinetic powers. Um, basically, uh, Logan and Deadpool, uh, they try to reason with her. 
she does not listen. She men she psychologically tortures both of them, uh, mostly Deadpool, and then the pair escape from Alioth. You, you watch. You gotta watch um, season one, episode five of Loki. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, they manage to end up in the outskirts, basically of the void, and try to survive. They look for food, and they have an exchange of. Uh, who they are, where they come from. But Logan does not like to share things. And then they eventually meet Nicepool and uh, the dog, Dogpool. Basically, Deadpool and Wolverine uh, talk about how how his Logan died. And basically, Deadpool says that his Logan, his in his world, died getting uh, tree-fucked. Chest-fucked by a tree. And, um... He saved the last of the mutants, basically. So they they're kind of retconning the fact that yeah, the X Men are still okay, it's just that in this world, Logan and Charles are dead, or something like that. And then what else? Oh yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine end up managing to reach the um they reach the car that of Nice Pool. It's a Honda. I heard you Americans don't like Honda Odysseys. I don't know why. Or maybe foreigners or maybe Westerners. I don't know. That I think it's a joke. I don't know. I'm not good with that. I'm fine with the Honda. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my mom explained that Honda Odyssey was like really bad in the eyes of the Westerners. I don't know why. I, I don't know why that, that's really a thing. But when she went to Canada, apparently that's a thing. So I don't know. And then, um, hmm. yeah. And then suddenly, Laura ends up driving them home. Like in Logan, fucking, I love that reference. I love that fucking reference where Laura just randomly saves Logan and Deadpool from themselves. They were gonna kill each other. They were killing each other in the car. They fell asleep, lost a lot of blood. So Laura drives them home so that nothing would endanger them, probably, or to recruit them. And they meet fucking Blade Gambit, played by Channing Tatum. Wesley Snipes and what's his name? Lectra named by uh, played by Jennifer Garner. Those were the classics, and I really like that um, twist. And they work together. They fight Cassandra Nova and a lot of the original X Men bad guys like Juggernaut, um, Azazel. You know the classics. They get defeated and. Most of them get killed in brutal ways. My God. I love the movie. Primarily because they were making fun of the multiverse shenanigans the whole time. Which is alright. I really like that. I didn't like Phase 4. So, to see uh, this movie making fun of it, <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. But, but that's my opinion. Who cares? Um, and then, eventually, they reach the main, their universe again. Earth 10,005. And they learn that um, they have to save the universe. They have to do the Iron Man thing again. Um, which was kind of cliche for a Marvel film. But it was a good callback to the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Sorry about that. Um, eventually, Deadpool and Wolverine, they meet the Deadpool core. They kill them. Turns out they're still alive. They get saved by Peter because Deadpools don't kill Peter, apparently. Because Peter's a precious being. And Deadpool and Wolverine, yeah, they save the multiverse together. They There was this heartwarming, emotional feel, scene where uh, Logan and Deadpool... Earlier pala, I forgot. There was an earlier scene where Logan was saying that, Hey... I won't kill this person. I won't tell you who because that would spoil too much of the movie. I won't let you kill this person because I'm an X-Man. I am the X-Man. Blah, blah, blah. And he was saying that Charles gave him that suit because it's it means something. It means that he's a hero, not a killer. And I really love that scene because it conveys so much of Hugh Jackman's performance as Wolverine in an emotional manner. And the last scene is where Deadpool sacrifices himself instead of Logan. He holds hands with Logan and then they fucking explode. They survived though. But it was such a heartwarming scene because you see all of his adventures from back then. Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2. And there were a few references to um, the, the old X-Men films. And I love that. 
I love that scene where they just hold hands and um, Deadpool and Wolverine basically sacrifice their lives. They would sacrifice their lives and he changed into a better person and I love that. But he still remained the same. He committed murder practically in an earlier scene but uh, it's fine. He's Deadpool. <laughs> it's a funny film. It's a good film. A damn good well, uh, well written one. Um, if it sounds like a bad film to you, uh, I don't care. Watch it. I really do recommend it. It's a really good movie. Um, it will make you cry if you're a huge Marvel's two thousands fan. Um, yeah. Oh, about the earlier deaths, they did die off screen. Who cares? It's a multiverse. Doesn't matter. They'll be brought back. <laughs> but I do think that it's a very interesting moment to uh address the doctor doom reveal yeah uh yeah this is a huge spoiler for those who don't know robert downey jr is going to play doctor doom my god i know right who would have thought but again please like and subscribe because that's the end of the video <laughs> i really like the direction they're going for now because it's the multiverse it does not matter what matters is the performance, the what you can do with the worlds, the, the fiction, the beauty of it all. Remember, the movie is um, a t 11 out of 10 for me because I loved it. I loved it because it was everything I ever dreamed of in a Wolverine film and a Deadpool film. It's what you want if you're a fan of either of these characters. If you want more let's just wait for some more that's it patience guys patience it's not like one day he's gonna come there and gene creator you're gonna fight <laughs> no you gotta wait guys you gotta wait stay patient guys don't worry i know you've been patient for 24 goddamn years but be patient this part of the movie for me was when um yeah, they were holding hands and they were about to die. <laughs> because they were probably... They, that was the first time they were willing to die for someone else. I mean, Deadpool did that in... I know, and Wolverine did that several times. But that was a very emotional scene. Because they were doing it knowing that they would not be brought back. And they did it. And that was beautiful. It was such an emotional scene and I cried <laughs> at that scene. I loved it. But for the worst scene, nothing. I, I, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the movie. It's a good damn movie. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't like how they killed off some of the characters. It doesn't matter though. I mean, it's just a... Eh. I, I loved Magneto, by the way. I loved Magneto. But it made sense that they just killed him off. They didn't have the budget for it. Or maybe Disney gets cheap. I don't know. Deadpool made fun of that. It's funny. Um... But yeah, that's it. It's a good damn movie. If you are a Deadpool fan, if you're a Wolverine fan, if you're a Gore fan, if you're, uh, if you're a fan of the Deadpool movies or any of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, this is the movie for you. It's R-rated. It's bloody. It's gory. It's emotional. It's heartwarming in the end, and it's beautiful. And I really like that part where <laughs> Deadpool kills Nice Pool. He he basically murders him. By using the other Deadpool's bullets to, like, he shields the, the their bullets and uses his body as a shield. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and Wolverine's mask is there. And, um, a lot of the characters, ah, I don't know, I forgot the others. <laughs> but it's a good film, okay? They, they did what they said in the beginning. Deadpool wanted to be an Avenger, but he can't be an Avenger yet. And they... He had to, instead of aiming that high, aim for the middle, and that made sense. That was the movie. And it was a good film. I legitimately liked it. It wasn't too much, it wasn't too less. It was the best in my taste. But what do you think? Uh, do you like the movie? Do you not like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Did you love the movie? Did you did you err to the movie? Did you err to the movie? Whatever. It's a good movie <laughs> for me. Anyway, that's it. Uh, does any 
do I have any political views on this movie? Um, I guess it's the how they made fun of how Disney got so kiss ass with all the um with how Marvel and DC works basically, and how the companies like. They try their best to please the fans, and eventually, like they don't. They made fun of that, and that was funny. <laughs> But yeah, Disney, please make more of these. <laughs> mm, I really love that Wolverine keeps on getting annoyed by Deadpool and keeps trying to kill him, even knowing he does he can't kill him, and Deadpool. Oh, there's a moment where Deadpool gets pissed by Logan. Mm. It's very interesting to see Deadpool get pissed for the first time. But Deadpool, oh, in the fight, Wolverine versus Deadpool, uh, Wolverine wins. Yeah, it's weird. He didn't die. No one died. But Wolverine won the fight. At least I, I believe that, because he he strapped Deadpool in the fucking seat, in the fucking seat with a seatbelt on. That's fucking funny. It's fucking hilarious. This movie is fucking gorgeous, and I love it. I think I won't get monetized. <laughs> But yeah. Um. Anyway, if you want a reaction, uh, an in-depth reaction where I like study the movie from top to bottom, um, I could do that. I'm trying to new th to do new things, and I'm trying to like earn money from this. I loved it. I love the movie, <laughs> but I will be making more content outside of my own content, like my usual content. Like, uh, it, rather than just fan fiction, I would like to review movies that I ended up loving. Now, I will never r r make a movie that I about I hate. I don't think I I do want to do that unless I really want to do that. But I feel like I won't do that because I don't like doing that. <laughs> Anyway, see ya. Goodbye. I love you guys. Thank you. I really, really do recommend the movie though. See ya.